Yeah. All right, so go ahead. You're All good. right. I'll pass it on. I'll pass it on to you. Dodgers versus Milwaukee. All right. So, so honestly, I, I think I think the Brewers are a team that had a good season. Don't get me wrong. But I think I think the Dodgers just kind of are going to simply outplay them. I think it's. I think this is more so just a. Um, a more of like a, I guess a smart kind of play to say. You know, the Dodgers are a team that's been good for a couple seasons now. You know, they got players like Cody Bellinger, yeah. who, let's face it, you know, if, if, if we've ever seen, if anyone here has ever seen uh, Ron Burgundy, you know that guy on his, like, on his, like, thing that says whammy? After that guy hits a home run, like, whammy, whammy, whammy. whammy. Yeah, that's this dude. That, that's Cody Bellinger, dude. Hits him all over the place. They got Corey Seager back, I believe. Um, that's right. They got him back, who's a dude, who this guy can be an X factor. Um, you know, this is just a, this is just a very well talented overall team, and I think, you know, uh, it, it, it's, it's going to be a very hard team to stop. And I think, um, I think though, honestly, I think it'll be a two zero over the Brewers. I don't want to diss on the Brewers because the Brewers had a had a good year. I mean, they're they're in the playoffs, which. In all honesty, the Brewers got some good players. You know, they have they have um, Ryan Braun, they have you know this uh, Ura 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 Ura. I don't know how you say his name. Uh, like second... Yelich. Yes, Yelich. I mean, this is this is a good team. I don't want to diss on that team. That's a good team. Like he said, like Jared said, Yelich is a good yeah. player too. Um, and they also have this guy. Um, many, many people might, might not know him, but the only reason I know him because he was an Indian. Uh, Robert Mathis, who's a guy who came up like at the end of the year, they signed him, and he became you know decently good. He he started hitting a few and um, doing pretty good. So I don't want to diss on that team. That's a good team, and I think I do think they will. Uh, I do think they will win. I'm, I don't know if I said this. I, I might have said it like odd before, but I do think they'll win a game. I think it'll be I think it'll be three, but I think it'll be two one uh, on the for the Dodgers. I just think the Dodgers are a better team. But I think because of the um, kind of team that the Brewers showed that they can be, and the kind of team that um, the kind of season they had, I think they're going to win a game. I just think that you know you're going to have Yelich, you're going to have um, Braun, and that Herrera. You know, they're, those are kind of guys that are going to get hot. They can make yeah. a difference in a series and can lead them to a win. I think uh, I think they will win a game, but I think the Dodgers are going to take it. Uh, I think that's I think that's. Um, pretty much I think what makes the most sense um, and I guess that aspect for me um, so I don't want to diss on the Brewers I think that's a good team I think they showed that they can be really good um, but yeah, I think that the uh, Dodgers are just the better overall team and I think um, at the end of the day that's a team I'm going to take how much you I would, have to, I, would, I would honestly have to agree with you like I have uh, I think you put Dodgers in two, right? Get the Dodgers in two. No, I said I, I said the Brewers are winning game. Think, like you said, the Dodgers all. Sorry. I said I said the I said the Brewers are winning game. Oh, okay. I, said, I think they're winning uh, game. So you have Do you have the Dodgers two two one. So yeah. winning in three games two one. Um, yeah. I had the Dodgers actually sweeping Milwaukee in two games. I, I, uh, and I almost took that, but I just think because of yeah. the kind of team that they showed they can be, I don't think that'll make it that easy. But that's. That's a very that's a very good possibility. It, it probably will happen. Yeah, uh, like 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 Mike said, he uh, they have Cody Bellinger, uh, Corey Seager, guys that can really hit hella home runs, hella home runs, and then you got Kershaw. Um, I believe I don't believe they have the um, Japanese guy anymore. I'm not sure. Uh, Ryu, no, Toronto has has Ryu, but their pitching uh, their pitching is I would like to say. Honestly, like the Yankees, they have really good pitching that can get it done when they're consistent. So, uh, I think it's going to be another defensive game um, because mainly because of the roster that they have. Milwaukee just like like I, like you said, uh, I don't want to diss on them, but Milwaukee just scraped in on the last day, just went into the playoffs. Um, they almost they almost got taken out. Uh, luckily for I'm not sure who they who they face but uh whoever beat san francisco lucky for milwaukee san francisco lost i think had uh san francisco won and milwaukee not won it would, we would be talking about a totally different team but um milwaukee has some good guys like christian yelich uh i forgot to actually 
I forgot that Brett, Brett Anderson went to Milwaukee, uh, I think during the offseason. Mm-hmm. So that's a former A right there. They have Josh Hader, one of the best. I think he's a closer. One of the best closers in the league, in the majors. Um, but I don't see I don't see Milwaukee's uh, defense getting past, defense or offense getting past the Dodgers. The Dodgers, the Dodgers are just way too consistent now. So. Yeah, I think, I, think, um, I think we both agree on I would that. Like, yeah, definitely. I would like to take. I'd like to take on first uh, San Diego and St. Louis. Right. Um, now you might be surprised about this. I have number four San Diego being St. Louis. Um, St. Louis again inconsistent. I believe they've been really inconsistent. San Diego, they got who was it that we were talking about earlier? Clevenger. They got Clevenger at the trade deadline. Clevenger, really, really good, really good pitcher. Um, and then you got guys, you got guys that can hit like uh, the youngsters. I for, I forgot the guy's name. Tatis. Uh, it has me. Yeah, but Batiste. That's right, Batiste. Um, you got guys like that, Lamet. Uh, so Will Myers. So Will Myers has been really crushing. Crush night. Um, St. Louis. I don't know. I'm not really sure who they have anymore. Um, I think they still have Yadier and Molina, and that's about all I know. That's about all it that I remember they have. Maybe Adam Wainwright if he hasn't retired yet. Like I said, I haven't really paid much attention this year. Um, been busy with other things, but uh, yeah, I, I see San Diego taking it in three. Um, I don't think they can sweep St. Louis. St. Louis can get a game in there, but. With the way that with the way that San Diego's been playing, they're just they're they're coming in as the underdog, even though they're the higher seed than St. Louis. But I'd say that they're coming in as the underdog, but they're going to come out as the uh, the better one. They're going to come out as the top dog in that fight. So now it's uh, now it's your turn to do that that series, and then we can move on to Chicago and Miami. Yeah, so I don't think you're crazy at all. I, I took the Padres as well. I think I think it's. Really? I, I, I don't think, yeah, I think the Padres had a really good season. I think a few names that you forgot to um, kind of bring up. You know, you, you brought up Tatis, you brought up Noel Myers. Um, yeah. They also have Manny Machado now. Um, oh, that's right. And they also have uh, Eric Hosmer, who was a Royal at one point. And oh, yeah. So, those, yeah, so this, is a, this is a really loaded team. And this is a team that really, really had a good year. I, I, I constantly heard about it heard about how good they yeah. were doing and, and they were playing really really well I am in the same boat as Jared I don't really know much about the Cardinals I don't like the, the last player I remember playing for them is Adam Wainwright and I don't even know if he's retired where he's at yeah. now that's only what I remember I do remember yeah, exactly Molina the because they were good for a while but I don't know oh, much yeah. about them and honestly I think the Padres are going to sweep them I think it's 3-0 I don't think this is going to be much of a series now, again I don't think it's going to be a blowout but I think I just don't think there's gonna be yeah. much of a series. I think that the Padres are really loaded with the, the players they have. You know, Tatis, um, Machado, Hosmer, Myers. You know, that's a lot of um, that's a lot of firepower in one lineup. And I think I think it's just gonna be pretty pretty straightforward. I think the Padres, you know, um, got them pretty uh, pretty easily in this series. So um, I think that's just a, a really outmatched team. And I think. Um, uh, I think I think the Padres are going to take that pretty easily, yeah. Definitely, and um, like Clevenger, like I said, like uh, Clevenger was good with the Indians, I believe it was. Um, mm-hmm. He was good with the Indians, and I think he can do a lot better too with San Diego. Yeah, um, I, I, I'm not. Here's the thing: I was never really a fan of Clevenger when he was with the Indians. No, I'm not saying he wasn't a good pitcher. Yeah. He just always kind of had those players like no. you're not fans of. And I was never a fan of of. Uh, yeah, of Clevenger, but I think he does add. You know, if I'm looking at a talent-wise um, perspective, and, and 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 rather than my personal um, perspective on him, I think he does add a good, you know, uh, a good pitcher into that lineup. And I think, you know, I don't think I don't think he's going to hurt them. I think he will definitely um, only improve their their pitching rotation um, to help them go forward. So I, I think that's a a very good addition for them, uh, even though yeah. uh, if, I'm, if I'm looking at a talent-wise aspect, yes. Honestly, with that one, um, 
I have I have to admit I don't know like who all is in the rotation, the starting rotation for San Diego. Yeah, I'm not, I don't other really than Clevenger. Right. But they're bats. They're bats. I think this is gonna be a offensive an offensive series for San Diego. Um like I like I said, like we we both said, they they have hella guys that can uh that can really hit the hit the ball and everything, hit home runs. So I think because of that, it's going to be mainly offensive. An offensive series for San Diego. I don't know who they have in their rotation, and if their bullpen can say can uh, stay consistent and keep the Cards from scoring too much, I think they can take it. I think they have it in the bag. But I see St. Louis slipping one in there, slipping at least at least a little slice in there, and uh, taking taking their one game. But other than that, I I think San Diego is going to dominate that series. Very well said. All right. Okay. I want you to go on to the Cubs and Marlins. Okay, so ah, I've never really liked the Marlins. Um, I don't even know how the hell they honestly got in there. Pardon my pardon my language. Which um, Chicago, Chicago, the last week or two uh, of the regular season was a little here hearsay here there, um, but I think they can take it in two. I see Chicago in two. Um, I don't see Miami getting past. I honestly don't even know who's on Miami, to be honest with you. Uh, they 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 snuck in there like Milwaukee did. They snuck in there really, really well. Um, the NL is just really crazy this season, playoff wise. Uh, but Milwaukee, or I'm sorry, Miami. Even though they had that COVID scare within the team, they really they really came back from that, and they re- they really impressed me. Even though I don't know who much is who's on there much um i don't that's all i really have to say about uh, about this series like i see i see chicago taking it because i don't see any i don't see anybody from miami hitting wise or pitching wise or you know defensive wise really having an impact on the series so yeah i got the i got the cubbies as much as i hate them i got the cubbies and uh in, in two yeah, I'm I'm in agreement with this. I just think the Cubs are a very uh this is another team that has a lot of firepower, man. They got Rizzo, they got Bryant, they got Baez, they got Contreras. I mean that's just that's that's a, like, that's enough set right there. Yeah. I mean that's that's a that's a group, man. Um you know, you, you look at this kind of team and this is the kind of team that won it a couple years ago. Was it last year or a couple years ago? I don't know. Um twenty sixteen. 2016, 2016 they won it. 2016 they won it. And this is the kind of team yeah. that showed that they can go far, they can fight, they can win. And I just think this yeah. it's, it's a very tough team to beat. Even their uh pitching is really well. I think they I believe they still have Lester, if I if I'm not mistaken. John Lester, they still have him. I'm not sure on that. We would have to we'd have to put it in we'll there. We'll confirm that. Um, but I believe he has whatever to see if they're Yeah, I'll I'll confirm it up top. But I believe they still have Lester. So this is like a very well pitching, a really well pitching rotation team, and a really good offensive team. I think this is just a very tough team to beat, and I think, um, you know, I just, I just, I don't see many teams beating them, um, especially the Marlins. I am in the same boat again with Jared. I don't yeah. know much about the Marlins. The only player I really know, and I actually looked at this today because I'm, I, I liked this guy when he came in, and I wanted the Indians to get him uh, before they got Cesar Hernandez. Uh, I wanted them to get this guy um, as a replacement for Kipnis, uh, who actually is on. That's another good point is Kipnis is on the um, Cubs now as well. Um, uh, and But Isan Diaz uh, from the Marlins, who's he's actually like, I believe he's on AAA now, but he was on the Marlins in his first game. The guy hit a home run and really had a lot of upside. I think he yeah. fell off a little bit. Uh, but, you know, I just, I think... Uh, I think you know he is the kind of guy that in the future can be well for the good, like really good for this team. And again, a guy like like I said, I wanted for the Indians before we got Cesar Hernandez. But I just I think other than that, that's really the only guy I know. I don't know much about the Marlins, so therefore I can't really put him ahead of a really um, a really really good uh, uh, Cubs you know lineup who just you know is going to be um, the kind of team that kicks ass and really hard to beat. You know I think. Um, they're really consistent in their lineup. I think, you know, with the addition of Kipnis, like I mentioned, they really, um, 
you know, really was like an X factor for them. Um, you know, so I think yeah. that's a really tough team to beat, and I think uh, I don't really think the Marlins got a shot. I think I think it's going to be too low. I don't I don't really see the Marlins doing too much. Oh no, that definitely. Yeah. Um, would Would you like to take the Atlanta and Cincinnati series first, or would you like me to? I can take it. Because I think that's what we're on to next. Yes. All right. All right. I, I have. Will, I will go ahead and go first with the Atlanta and Cincinnati okay. series. Right. Um, yeah. If you're if you're ready. Yeah, I'm good. Go ahead. All right. Okay, so with Atlanta, I have Atlanta taking it 2-0, um, mainly because of two guys, Freddie Freeman and Marcelo. Oh, and actually three. Sorry, uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna Jr. If all like their batting averages are out there, uh, Freddie Freeman has a point three four one. I think that's better than anybody I've mentioned so far. Uh, home runs with eighteen. Marcelo Zuna has eighteen. Leads the team in that. Um, Adam Duvall, Acuna's on there. Freddie Freeman's fourth. Uh, Danby Swanson. You got guys like that that can really like, really hit, really hit the ball, really hit the ball. And um, I think their, uh, I think their home runs can take this one. And like I said, like I said with Miami, I don't really know who at all even is on. Uh, other than Trevor Bauer, is on Cincinnati. Um, you know. They're a Pittsburgh rival. I don't. I don't really care for them, um, or care to care. You know, like watch them. But they're another team that snuck in there, along with Miami and Milwaukee. They they snuck in there. They uh, they somehow really surprised me. But um, I I see. Yeah, I see Atlanta in, in two because of their offense and their defense. You know, you got Freed, you got Maztec, O'Day. Uh, Anderson, Dayton, all those guys can really can really get the freed win, free leads and wins uh, with seven. So I think if they can stay consistent, if their pitching can stay consistent, and their defense can stay can stay uh, consistent, they have this one in the bag. I don't see Cincinnati getting even one game in on uh, on a, on the players, you know. So but that's all I really have to say about about that series. Like it's. It's hard to, it's hard to say that Cincinnati, for me, at least personally, would win a game in the series because of the fact that they don't have anybody that I really know of, and they don't have anybody that I see as consistent. I may be wrong though; they could really surprise. They they surprise me by even making the playoffs. So, uh, you never. Know, all these teams, we could be we could be wrong with every one of them. All the the lower seeds could uh, actually surprise us and win. Win every series, but let's uh, hope not. Let, Look like a pair of idiots on here. Yeah, exactly. But so here's the thing: I I was making my bracket, and a yeah. part of me really wanted to take the Reds, just because I wanted to have a big upset somewhere. And I almost wrote yeah. the Reds down. I have an R crossed out. Like, no, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I almost took the Reds just because because of Trevor Bauer. He's a good pitcher. He was an Indian pitcher. Yeah. This is another guy I was really never a fan of. But really? looking at a, again, a like I did with Clevenger, a looking at a like a, a, a talent aspect, he's a good pitcher. A talent aspect other than personal? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good pitcher. Definitely. This is just a team that the Reds, we talk about the Reds first. So this is a team that, like, okay. they, they came in, and like you said, they snuck in, but they look he had a – a decent year, and they and they surprised a lot of people, and that's why I almost took them as an upset. I was this close to taking them as an upset, but yeah. overall, I took the Braves um, as a, as a last minute decision, just because, like like Jared said, you know, a lot of you know a lot of um, good hitters on this team. You can't forget about Acuna Jr. You can't forget about Freddie Freeman. Uh, you know, just uh, really experienced guys, guys you know that are gonna. Uh, perform consistently whether it be with the long ball or you know just um you know getting rbis whatever you know they're gonna con you know they're gonna yeah. perform consistently so i do think i do think um it's gonna be 2-1 I, I do i just because i think like i said i almost took the reds i i will go on on record and say i think they're gonna at least win one game i think uh 
they may surprise you. you never know. They, they, and they, they may surprise us. Like he, like you said, man, there yeah. could be some upsets we don't know about. You know, no. crazy things happen. I mean, I, I hate to bring up like a, a NBA in this, but who would have thought no, that Miami would have been in the playoff, in the finals? You know, I took the Clippers yeah, exactly. to win it all in the beginning of the year, and you know they got knocked out. I mean, so this is because my, my comparison is this is the kind of things that can happen, like. Upsets and crazy things can happen. You don't know. Yeah, like you, you never know. Right. It's the same, it's the same with the NHL. Like um, Dallas came in there really inconsistent. They're they're in the final, dude. Like, yeah. They, you never know. But somebody, somebody like Milwaukee could go on a big run and go to the go to the World Series. Like you never know. That, that's right. very right. Right. So yeah, it, I I mean, so I think the, the I think the Braves will take it, um, but I do think the Reds will take a game. So I think it'll be two one. Yeah. Um, but just because of the the out hitting that uh, the Braves have on them, I think that they'll take the series. Okay, uh, if you're ready, we can move on to the ALDS series. Yep, I'm good. Um, okay, so I want to go first, and we have in the in the ALDS number one, we have. Uh, oh, I actually messed that up. My bad. Me, I should fix that. You're good. Okay. So, we have Tampa Bay versus the Yankees. Uh, with these, I don't think we really need to say much because we already said said so much about all the teams in the first uh, in the first rounds. But like like I said about um, like I said about the Yankees before, Garrett Cole, Masi Harrison, knock the guys like that. I, I think uh, I think it's going to be a defensive series again for the Yankees. I have them taking it actually in five. Uh, I don't. I don't see Tampa Bay just two sweats, but they're gonna fall just short. Um, so yeah, the, as much as I don't like the Yanks, the Yanks are gonna go because of because of who they have on their team. Um, I would like to not count out Tampa Bay. I was gonna go with them at first as an upset because <clears throat> the even though they're first, honestly they're the first seed and the Yankees are fifth. I think the Yankees coming in even though as the underdog, I think the Yankees are going to take it in, in five. Um, I don't see I don't see Tampa Bay getting anywhere close to the. Well, they got they got they'll get one game off of the. Uh, they will get one game, just shy of the uh, ALCS, AL Championship Series. Okay, so I'm going to let you go ahead and take it. Yeah, so mine's different a little bit because right, I had the Indians winning against the Yankees to start off. So, I yeah. I don't. I think. I think the Indians are gonna make their magical, you know, round one, you know, thing. But I don't see them going much farther. Yeah. I just think they're the kind of team that have kind of shown before that, like, you know, they'll pull off something magical, but they're not gonna go very deep. Um, yeah. They were in the. Was it the? They were in the. Um, the championship uh, a couple years back. Um, but that was a really good team. They don't have that team now. The team now is built differently. Now, don't get me wrong; it's good, but it's built different. Yeah. And I you know, they I think went to the World Series. Were they the team that went to the World Series against the Cubs? Yes, I think it was them, right? Yes, with uh, Encarnacion and guys like that. Yeah, Trevor Bauer. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought so. And that's when they had Brantley too. That was Brantley. a really good team. Um, but yep. but yeah, so I, I don't I don't see the Indians moving much farther. I think the Rays will take them. Uh, I do think it'll be a. I think it'll be a, uh, a three-two. I think I think the Indians will give them a series. I think just because of like I mentioned before the kind of bats they have in their lineup, but I think overall because of their inconsistency, you know, there's going to be the couple games they don't perform. They score a couple runs and they, you know, needed to score a few more runs in order to win. So yeah. because of their inconsistencies. <laughs> I don't see them getting past the Rays. Um, I think, like I said, it'll be a 3-2. A um, I do think the Indians will give them a series, but their inconsistencies will uh, will show in this series, and I think the Rays will take them. Yeah. I, I agree with you on that, like, if, if it was similar. But um, I, 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 as much as I don't like the Yankees, I, I see the Yankees going to the ALCS. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and let you take... Uh, the next one, and then I'll tell you what I think about my Houston and Oakland series. All right, yeah. So I took I took the White Sox originally. So, so I think yeah. I think this is in my case. 
I had the Twins and the White Sox. I think this is more so, um, out of those two teams, I think people are probably saying, like, you know, I think I know who you're going to say. And it's going to be the Twins. I think the Twins will take the White Sox in this series pretty easily. Um, I honestly could see this being uh, a um, the White Sox only maybe winning one game, but I don't think... I don't see it being much of a series. I think I think the Twins yeah. will take the White Sox pretty easily. Um, so you got them in four then? I got them in four. I, 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 okay. I, a part of me wants to say they could win a game, but I'll take them in four. I think it'll be just a pretty much a clean sweep. Again, will be a series, but I just don't see it winning being much of a series. Um, so I think um, there's a possibility the White Sox would win uh, one game, but I'm going to go with them uh, taking a sweep on that. Because I think they're yeah. the better overall team of those two teams. So actually, a sweep would mean actually a sweep would mean the White Sox not winning one. Um, so if, you, if you're going for that, then it, that would be three and zero. Oh. I just want to mention to three, everybody oh, three, watching oh, right. that. Yeah, um, I just want to mention to everybody watching that this year it's different. They added a few teams to the playoffs um, because of COVID, so they made it in actually eight teams per uh, per league making it to the playoffs, and the first round is considered the wild card round. Best two out of three. Uh, that's why we went more than, more than you know, the original four games if it was a seven-game series. And then uh, it's been like this for a long time, as, as long as I can remember. The ALDS and the NLDS series, is, uh, series they go five games. Uh, best of five. So the best three. that's why we're saying three out of the oh, and then uh, the NLCS and the ALCS and the World Series are best out of seven. So whoever wins four games out of those series, you know, advance. And then, so I just, I just thought anybody that was like, oh, well, why are you only doing, uh, you know, two games in one series and then another round, you know? Uh, I just thought I should explain that. Uh, good point. Good but, point. Yeah. Uh, so it would be my turn, right? Yep. You are with. Um, yep. You're. You're up. Yep. Okay, so uh, this one I actually have totally different than Michael. Um, I have Houston and Oakland. Like I said, Houston has a brain key, but I, Oakland has outplayed Houston all year. I think they won, like, how many series did they have? They had, like, I think three series in the regular season, three or four series in the, reg, uh, in the regular season, and I think Oakland took all but one of them, I would like to say. So, because of Oakland's batting and because of Oakland's uh, pitching and defense, I see them. I see them going on uh, to the face of the Yankees in the ALCS. Um, Houston's very been, been very inconsistent, and uh, if guys like Correa and guys like uh, George Springer and guys like that, you know, if they can't be consistent, then they're not going to have the bats to to move on. I I just don't see that happening. Um, this isn't a because I don't like them anymore thing. This isn't me bashing them thing. You know, I wish that, I wish that like I'm being biased uh, because I don't like them anymore because of the whole cheating scandal thing. But uh, I honestly think that Oakland, the better team, is going to take it. But and like Mike had mentioned earlier, you know, he was going to go underdogs. I don't really this year. I don't really see many under, underdog teams or uh, like surprising teams making it. Um, Really, other than I want to say, other than um, maybe maybe San Diego, even though even though they're the fourth seed, uh, I don't see any other teams really surprising. So uh, we would now move on to who do you have for the for, for the first uh, ALDS series, the Dodgers and San Diego? I think I think we both got. I mean, we both had we both had the Dodgers and Padres, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna let you go ahead and do that. I think right. that I think that would be a NL West matchup. Yeah. So yeah. I have the Dodgers in this. Uh, I okay. think I think this is gonna be a hell of a series. I think this is gonna be a hell of a series. You have a very well hitting team on both ends. You know, like I mentioned before, okay. you know the Padres are loaded. And so are the Dodgers. I think this is going to come down to Game Five, and I think this is going to be a very, very good series, man. Very well matched. You know, um, this is going to be a, a really high-scoring series. I feel like a lot of bats. Um, 
And I think uh, I don't think pitching is going to come as as much into this, but I do think it will uh, come down to who scores a lot of runs in this game, and I think it's going to oh, come yeah. down to uh, overall who performs better on the pitching end. And even though that there's going to be a lot of runs scored, I just I really like this series. This is this is one of the series I really hope does happen because I really want to see this. I think it'd be a great series. Like I said, down to game five, right down to the wire. Um, going to be very exciting to see. So I, I, I really want to see this. I think it'll be a really good a series. Yeah. Right down to game five, two teams going at it with very stacked lineups. Um, and quite honestly, I think this is the um, probably the best one of the best games that we're going to see in this entire, One of the um, best series, yeah. entire thing. So... So I really want to see that, and I think, uh, but I do think the Dodgers will take it in a uh, game five in a really good series. So that's what I'm saying. Okay. And I'll, um, I actually I have to agree. Uh, and you actually made me change <laughs> change the number just from what you said because I originally had the Dodgers winning in uh, in just four, making it three one, making a three one series. But because of what we talked about before, uh, San Diego, both teams having. Good bats, good good defense. I think it's going to be a, a tight series too. Um, I have the Dodgers in three two. I have the Dodgers in five. Uh, like like you said, really close series, kind of a series. Um, Ballinger versus guys like uh, Tatis, Hosmer, uh, Seager, guys like that. It's going to be one hell of a matchup. And Machado considering too. that, it, I think I believe it's a. What you say? Machado too. Machado, Machado definitely. Um, considering it's a all, it's a it would be an all Cali uh, series. I would actually like to see a rival that rivalry go on. I like rivalries in sports, um, so I believe like like my uh, this is this is one that I would like to see happen. Um, I actually I don't mind the Padres this year, but I don't see them getting past the Dodgers. I don't see them getting past number one because the Dodgers are just way too consistent for. Uh, yeah, but it's gonna be a close one. It's gonna definitely be a close one. For sure, for um, sure. <clears throat> if you would like if you would like to go first on the on the next one we can uh go ahead and get into that. Alright, yeah, so uh Cubs and Braves, uh this is tough because this is another scenario where you got two kind of good teams going at it. And I think yeah. most importantly, the what the what what really came down to this decision for me is the outweighing of the lineups. I look at the Cubs, like I said before, you got Rizzo, you got Bryant, you got Contreras, you got Kipnis, who became an X Factor. And you look at the Braves and you got, you know, you only have a few, you know, you have a few big names, but you don't have as many. And I think I looked at the, you know, the comparison of those two. So overall, I think this is going to be another good series. I, I, I don't think it'll be five. I think it'll be a four game series. Honestly, okay. Um, but I'm taking the Cubs. I think, I think just because you know they kind of outweigh the Braves in the aspect of the hitters they have, and yeah. uh, you know, so I, I'm taking the Cubs. I think you know the Cubs are the kind of team also that kind of find ways to win. I don't know if I mentioned that before, um, but you know they're the kind of team that uh, just finds ways to win, and so uh, I, I definitely see them. Uh, um, winning this series. Definitely. Um, if, uh, if you're done with that, I think I will go now. And I, I have to agree with you, dude. Like, uh, we're, we're dead on, we're dead on the same with the NL. Uh, we both had, we both picked all four, all both, both series. We have all four teams correct. Uh, and we have the winning, we have the, uh, Right, the series record the same. I have Chicago three one. Um, like you said, Atlanta Atlanta has good is good. They have like good bats, but they're not as good as Chicago. Uh, and somebody we forgot to mention in the first round for Chicago is Ian Happ. Ian Happ leads in batting averages and home runs. Um, and um, out, I think that oh OBP. I think that's out um, batted. But uh, he leads. He leads in many, many of the uh, of the batting, you know, batting stats, batting records in on the team. So I think Ian Happ, if he can <clears throat> stay healthy uh, and stay consistent, and with and Rizzo and uh, guys like that, Baez, I think because of hitting wise, 
I think the Cubs have this one. Um, but pitching wise, if they had a better if they had better pitching, I think Atlanta could, would be able to do it. Um, but I don't I don't see their uh, their bullpen really taking in Chicago. I don't I don't see Chicago losing this one. They'll they'll sweep one in there. Atlanta will sweep one in there. Um, and kind of get Chicago off their game, and then the next game I see. Uh, so I see it being the first two Chicago, and then game three Atlanta will sweep one in there, and then game four we'll go to Chicago again. It's, uh, I don't know. Maybe 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 we're wrong. Maybe Atlanta will. <laughs> maybe Atlanta could sweep them. Really surprise us. That would be an upset. Right. But other than that, I think we agree on we agree on, on all of it. So. Um, Next, we're we're on to the best of seven series, uh, ALCS. I have the Yankees in Oakland. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you take that one first. Whatever, whoever you have. Yeah, so I got uh, I got the I have the Rays and the Twins, um, and this is a this is a I think almost I think it was kind of a stretch for the Rays to kind of get there because I think like yeah. I said the Indians are. A good team, but I think they were better in a series itself. Um, I think I think the Rays were better in that aspect. But when you compare two teams like the Twins and the Rays, I think the Twins really um, have the ability to outplay the Rays. And I think the Twins uh, would take over the Rays pretty uh, pretty easily. I think maybe that the Rays would win a few games. Um, but I see the Twins uh, um, pretty much taking hold of this series early and um, really, yeah. um, you know, between those two teams, I think the Twins are just really the better team. So, um, so quite honestly, I, I see the Twins uh, as one of my teams going to the, uh, the um, World Series. Do, do you see them going in uh, seven games or five or four? Six, uh, I, six, I, think, I think the, the Rays will win a game or two. Uh, I don't okay. think I, I don't think it'll be um, any more than that. Uh, so so I think it, it, I think it'd be more so you know uh, you know a a four two or or something like that <laughs> um, of that nature. Yeah. Um. So for me in that series, I have the Yankees and Oakland. Um. I don't see Oakland getting past the Yankees. I don't see Oakland getting past. Uh, Garrett Cole. Uh, I believe they're the ones that have Luis Severino, if I'm not wrong. I think they do. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they have guys, they, again, I think this is going to be a defensive a defensive series for the Yankees. Uh, their, their batting has been inconsistent, like I mentioned, in the first round. But I think through time, through time in the playoffs, they'll get better. Um, and I think this will either be one, a close series, a close series, batting, batting wise, like uh, score wise, like maybe, maybe eight to seven, or somewhere around that, around that range in every game, or a low, a low scoring game, a low scoring series. But uh, I have the Yankees. I have the Yankees in five. Uh, Oakland will get one in there because because they're Oakland. You know, they're they're surprising. I'm surprised that they made it, uh, made it to the second. Uh, second seed, actually, I was gonna say second round. Um, but Oakland, Oakland really surprised me this year because they've been really, really inconsistent the past few years, and they've been down in the bottom the last few years. But I think with some additions this year and uh, some youngsters that have really, really stepped up their game, that's why Oakland's even there in the first place. But I, I don't see, I don't see the bats getting past. Uh, I don't see the home runs or anything getting past the Yankees. That series, so I have the Yankees moving on to be the AL representative in the World Series. All right, um, good stuff, good stuff. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you go ahead and take uh, the NLCS, and then I will do my part, and then we can move on to the World Series. All right, so I got Dodgers and Cubs. Um, I think it's gonna be a really good series. I don't. I don't really. I think it's kind of hard to say like what the the series will be, um, yeah. but. But I'm gonna take the Dodgers. I, I think that was a really tough decision. I almost took the Cubs. I was really kind of indecisive about who I wanted to take. Uh, but I'm gonna take the Dodgers. I think uh, 
you know, in, okay. in, in, in a series setting, I think the Dodgers are, uh, are the team more likely to pull out. Um, over the course of a series, I think they're more likely to pull out a win. So uh, I'm going to take the Dodgers. Yeah. I just think, um, like I said, over the course of a series, I think, you know, I don't think the Cubs really could, in a way, compete with them in over a series time frame. So I'm going to take the Dodgers. I think the Dodgers are my representatives. I have the Twins and Dodgers as my two champions, or my two uh, for the World Series. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think, honestly, looking at my bracket and listening to you, we have the same guy. We have the same teams. Uh, it was really different for, for us with the AL teams, but the NL teams, we're basically, like, dead on. We're neck and neck with that because I have the Dodgers in Chicago and the NLCS, too. Um, I have this one going seven, uh, and I see the Dodgers Dodgers being past them because, you know, like you said, the, the Dodgers are way too way too good to not, <laughs> to not go to the World Series. Honestly, um, so I think the Dodgers go back to World Series. I think it would be the, the I want to say the third time in the last four seasons since since losing to uh, since losing to the Astros 2017 because I think they I think they got beat by Boston I want to say in 2018 and then they didn't even make it next uh, last year um, to World Series because of Washington and um, but yeah I I see uh, I see how they're going. Um, so they're going to be my representative along with the Yankees in the World Series. Um, I think I'm going to let, because I, I, I'm really anxious to see who you have winning the World Series, so I'm going to let you go ahead and do that series first, and then I'll go on and uh, see who I can my champion. All right. So. Are you ready for this? Uh, my two representatives. <laughs> I'm going to be surprised. Go Twins ahead. and Dodgers are my two, right? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I've said a lot of good things about the Dodgers. I've said a lot of positive things. I think they're a really tough team. But I think the Twins, yeah. I, I'm going to take the Twins to win it, dude. I, what? I'm taking the Twins to win it. I think they've had too good of a year. I think they've really shown a lot. I think, I think yeah. it's their time, man. I think it's their time to win a World Series. I think they can do it. I think... Um, I don't think it's going to be easy. I think the Dodgers will make it hard on them. Uh, yeah. You know, it's not going to be an easy series. Um, but low-key, I see the Twins pulling it out. And I think it's their time to win one. So I'm going with the Twins nice. to win it all. And how many games? How many games do you think that will go? Game seven. In seven? Game seven. Yeah, I, li I like that. I like that. That's good. Because it's going um, to be back and forth. It's not going to be easy, but... I think the Twins will pull it yeah. out. Okay, so I don't, I don't know. Considering I had two of the best teams in the league and two of the most prominent teams in the league and oldest teams in the, I'm sorry, in the majors, uh, going up against each other in the Yankees and Dodgers, I think it's as much as I don't like either team. I think it's the Dodgers redemption time. Uh, I have the Dodgers going in, in seven. I have the Dodgers beating the Yankees in seven. Dodgers redemption time. Uh, as much as I don't like the Dodgers, I think they, they really did, honestly, and this is no joke, they got cheated out of the 27, uh, 2017 title um, because of the Astros. Uh, so I think they deserve that. I think they deserve the uh, the title this year. I think they deserve the uh, World Series win. And I just, I see the Yankees, when it comes to the World Series, I see the Yankees falling apart defensively. I've, I've put so much credit on their on their defense. Uh, the whole, the whole, playoff predictions, the whole prediction, the whole bracket I've given the Yankees the benefit of the doubt uh, when it comes to defense-wise. Defense um, I think they can, I can, I think their, their batting will get better. I think it'll be like reverse of what I've been saying to the Yankees the whole time. Like the bats have been kind of inconsistent and then the defense have, has really been better. I think it's going to be reversed in the World Series. The defense, or the, I'm sorry, the batting will be better. Uh, they may get like more hits and everything, but because because of the Yankees' inconsistency in in the bats, I, I don't know why. I just have a feeling like it'll it'll change it'll change up when it comes to World Series because of the amount of pressure and because the amount of uh, you know, like plays that they would have to make the, the defense for the. Yankees is going to go down when it comes to the World Series. They're going to be tired. 
they're going to be like worn out. And I know they have a few old guys on the team, um, but I, I have the Dodgers redemption time for this series. So my my 2020 MLB champions will be the LA Dodgers, and yours will be the Minnesota Twins. That is correct. All what right. would be really what would be really exciting is if our two champions face each other for the World Series. You know how dope that'd be. Dodgers. You know how dope that'd be? Like, that'd be cool. Um, oh, yeah. Um, but, uh, know, dude, but this was fun. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed that. Um, I hope everyone uh, bigged with us a little bit. Uh, first time doing something yeah. like this. So I think it went pretty well, though. I think, you I know, think we did too. really well. Um, so more things like this to come um, from me and Jay, um, me and Jared. Um, and... Um, and I, like I said I, on, on my whole video with Jay, I don't, we don't know what the status is on that yet. Um, we're kind of in talks still about that and uh, trying to, I guess, to find the right time to do it. Uh, you know, and, and, and when that will be, we don't know yet. So uh, any more information I have on that, I will uh, let you guys know. Um, you'll see me talk about it a little bit in some of my videos, which I don't know, uh, my GTA videos, which I don't know if those are up yet. Um, once I talk about that... Um, but uh, games coming from me, uh, you guys know those coming up. So um, I am, uh, I'm good. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I always say, thank you. Um, stay classy. I know you will. I know I will too. So um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll let Jared say anything he wants to say. Twenty-two will be in the description below. Um, yeah. And one little last thing to say, I think I'm, I think I'd like to post this on my on my uh, YouTube channel too, just in case you know we can both get the views. Um, but Mainly, this is gonna be your video because my 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 phone wouldn't record any audio. I already tested it out beforehand, and um, I just like to say, yeah, this is this is really fun. This is really fun, and we should do more like this. Um, I'm not really into into the NBA, so I could I can't really tell you much about that uh, or do much about that. But uh, if there's like any any other series that you want to do or gaming videos that you would like to do um, or would like to see. We uh, we definitely do it when we have the time. Uh, yeah, yeah. So things are things will be coming like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Links to mine and Jared's channel will be in the description down below, and then this will be on our channels as well as the um, collab channel we have. So, that being yeah. said, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one, and uh, this is us signing out, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out, we'll guys. See ya. Thanks.